So today we have something a bit unusual in terms of yung mga brands na review natin. We have two cases from Dark Flash, the DS900 and the DS900 Air. So we're going to be building it, we're going to be testing it for performance, and we'll try to see if masusurprise nga ba kami by this brand. Well, spoilers, yes, na surprise kami. <laughs> so I'm Rocky the Programmer, and this is the DS900 and DS900 Air case review from Dark Flash. So waka na ba sa unactivated windows mo? Well, lucky you! Pinakabago mula sa cdkeyoffer.com Windows 10 and Windows 11 activation codes. Legit, safe, at pinakamura. Madali lang umorder. Hanapin ang Windows version na gusto mo. Piliin ang preferred payment method. Wala pang 5 minutes na CDK ka na para sa Windows mo. Marami na kaming natulungan. Dati, second depressed ako. But now, I found the love of my life. Dati, aimless and walang purpose ang life ko. But now, I'm a world-class Zumba instructor. So, web developer ako and content creator for a YouTube channel. And ngayon, ganun pa rin ako, pero activated na yung Windows ko. Kaya ako naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software. Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com Check out cdkoffer.com so, yung usual na disclaimer namin, Dark Flash did send us these cases for review for free, pero they do not have a say dun sa final verdict namin. On to the video. So, when it comes to Dark Flash, it's synonymous with budget, medyo cheap na materials, and yung mga hindi ka masyado nagahanap ng mga super premium na features. And it's mostly true dito sa case na ito. I say mostly kasi honestly, you uh, sa first na nakita namin to, we were surprised at how beautiful this thing looks. It has very minimal branding, maganda naman yung finish niya. And also, uh, at just looking at it, wala namang super egregious na mga features or mga, you know, protruding na stuff. Basically, it doesn't look cheap. So, for specs, it is an ATX case with a 270 degree panoramic view without the pillar. So, yung side niya that should have a pillar, wala siyang pillar dalawang glass lang siya na magkadikit. So basically, para siyang yung aquarium ng mga PC cases. And, you know, that's not an insult sa Dark Flash. They do use that term, aquarium, dun sa kanilang mismo website. So, it's just a way to describe it. It also has Type-C included. So yung front panel niya, lahat ng essentials nandun. May Type-C, may USB 3.0, may headphone and microphone jack, and of course, yung power buttons. It also has a controller button for your LEDs, if that's your thing. So with this, you can install up to 10 case fans. So including na doon, syempre, yung sa RADs, for example. And speaking of RADs, you can mount up to 360mm dun sa top, and then meron siyang up to 240mm dun sa side. And yes, yung side niya, merong mga butas or merong parang mesh for airflow. So really, this is a very versatile na case. So for storage, meron siyang provisions for 3.5 or 2.5 drives dun sa baba. And meron din siya dun sa likod na isa. Okay. So for clearances naman, it can support up to 170mm na air cooler and a 425mm GPU. So basically, yeah, yun nga, napaka-versatile niya na case. You can put a very varied na configurations with this case. So the overall theme here I'm, I'm, like, I'm observing is that it's bridging the gap between all the essentials and medyo crossing over dun sa medyo premium na look. So actually, titignan lang natin siya. Yeah! Alright, so ito siya. So by essentials, I do mean na, uh, for example, ito yung likod niya. Meron siya mga cable routes naman na very, you know, <laughs> very super basic, but it's very nice to have and it's very nice na nilagay nila dito. So isa pa is yun nga, yung mga provisions niya for HDD. Very essential, we've seen this all before. And basically, yun nga, it's a very essential case. Pero ganito yung itsura niya. Ang ganda ng finish, meron siyang mga, you know, mesh dust filters. You know, if for anything else, this thing looks really beautiful. Yung aesthetics niya talaga yung nagdadala. So, you know, in terms of the, um, you know, features and, you know, the little things na it does include, wala, wala tayo masyado masasabi. Kasi yun nga, very basic and very, you know, very essential lahat nung nilagay niya dito. You know, that's not a negative point naman dun sa Dark Flash. It clearly knows kung saan market niya to inaano talaga, push And yun nga, yung sinabi ko na medyo true pa rin yung mga alam natin tungkol sa Dark Flash. Meron pa rin siyang, you know, mga build shortcuts. 
And by build shortcuts, I mean yung mga decisions na they made to build this case to, you know, of course, stay within the budget dun sa cost niya. So, one glaring example is yung PCIe cover slots niya. Kailangan mo pa, ito pa rin yung dipitas. <laughs> ito yung uh, medyo annoying siya. Um, yung tip namin dito is that if you're going to build this, um, iplano mo na yung kung saan mo ilalagay yung GPU. Kasi medyo mahirap siya kapag ka nandito na yung motherboard. Kung baga nandiyan na yung motherboard, tapos saka mo palang pipitasin yung PCIe cover. Another is, uh, siguro nakikita nyo na sa screen. And we, ha we do have B-roll of this. Meron siyang fan grill. Uh, hindi siya naka-attach pa. So, when this is off, as in, bilug na bilug lang yan. <laughs> I'm guessing, you know, na it's, this is cheaper. This is cheaper to provide than, you know, perforating or like creating a mesh para dun sa exhaust fan. So, you know, yun nga, yung mga parang build shortcuts na ginawa nila to save on the costs. So, another point to bring up is yun nga, tungkol dun sa build quality ng case. It is a very decent na case in terms of the materials and the build quality. Talaga mapapansin mo lang siya if you've come to know yung mga very premium na brands like yun, yung Fractal, yung Corsair, yung um, NZXT. Basically, malaking malaki yung difference nila in terms of yung tigas or like yung pagiging solid ng no mga panels and materials. But you know, in the grand scheme of things and with, regarding builds, uh, kasi nga, yun nga, nag-build nga kami dito, we can honestly say naman na it doesn't impact the build itself, you know, the PC, the components and inside. It doesn't impact it too much. So parang comparison lang, yung sa mga fractals, yung mga premium na cases na ganun, pag tinanggal mo yung side panel nila, as in, it's clearly super solid and they're not flimsy and they don't bend and very thick yung materials na ginamit. Pag hinampas ko si Domer sa ulo nun, diretso ER siya, diretso ICU. That's how hard some of these cases can be. So dito sa DS900, hindi siya ganun ka-solid. Um, you do see, uh, sa side panel niya, makikita mo na medyo nagbe-bend. And yung pinaka-back panel niya, alam mo medyo may manipis. Pero hindi naman siya like structurally uh, compromised. Basically, pag hinampas ko si Domer nito, masasaktan lang yung feelings niya. So, the DS900 comes in two variants. Isa is yung DS900, and isa is the DS900 Air. Yeah. So, heto siya. So, the main difference here is the grass doesn't go all the way down. Meron ditong mesh na panel that should generally help in airflow and temperature management. And you know, that's the only difference na we have seen. So, yung mesh niya, makikita natin actually, ayun, makikita natin na up to dun sa harap, naka-mesh din siya. So, pag nilagay mo yung bottom fans here, makakatulong talaga siya dun sa airflow. So, to compare the difference dun sa air and non-air variant, nagawa kami ng identical na build using the cases. And we basically recorded CPU temps using Cinebench. And what we found is, medyo surprising, very similar yung kanilang results. So, yung pinaka parang insight ko dun is, yung non-air, Maganda na yung airflow niya to begin with. So if you just need that, you know, very, you know, extra na cooling performance, for example, mas mainit yung CPU na ilalagay mo, you can go for the air version. But yun nga, pang extra na lang siya because yung air and non-air, very similar sila na cooling performance. Just a little addendum here. We do want to point out that the DS900 Air does have a fan limit of 9 fans versus the 10 of the DS900 non-air. With that being said, the DS900 Air is still a tiny bit better on max temps. With 4 fans only, may konting discrepancy as the DS900 pulls ahead being 2 degrees slower sa average temps, which I would put under margin of error, but very identical on max reach temperature, which is what matters most. And, you know, for you, baka yung pinaka-aesthetics na lang. Kasi yung DS900 Air, medyo it still looks like a normal case and hindi siya masyadong, you know, it's not giving aquarium vibes too much. So in summary, we have seen this case before. We have seen this design from other brands like, you know, Lee & Lee, from Forsair, from NZXT, but never at this price. So yung mga variants niya, yung Air and non-Air, they do come in black and white colors. And yung price niya, naglalaro lang between 2,700 and around 3,000 pesos. 3,000 pesos for something that looks like this. You know, at around 3,000 pesos, yung mga matitinong pwede namin i-recommend na CPU cases, medyo limited lang sa M80X. So cases like sa Deepcool, yung sa Montec. But now, meron na tayong option for ATX. It is a very decent na case and also very versatile in terms of the configurations na you can put in it. 
plus it has all the essential features that you will be looking at the case at this price point. So if you don't mind yung parang mga compromises niya, and I would even truly say na compromise siya, yung yung PCIe cover na kailangan pa sa pitasin, this is a very cheap and very decent na alternatives dun sa mga brands na we've come to know. So what should you get, yung air or yung non-air? Basically, it's up to kung ano yung gusto mong aesthetics. If you want yung full aquarium, full na you know uninterrupted view nung case mo or nung PC mo, Go for the non-air. Hindi naman compromise yung thermals niya as we've tested. The very good pa rin yung airflow niya. And yung configurations niya, pareho pa rin. But you know, if you're going to be putting high-end, high-performance parts on this, para lang, you know, for your peace of mind and wala ka nang iisipin tungkol sa airflow or temperatures. Ako personally, gusto ko tong white na non-air. It's very, you know, it's a very compelling na case because napaka-cheap niya. Plus, ang ganda pa ang mag-build sa kanya. We don't usually review ultra, you know, ultra-budget brands like this. But I'm happy we got the chance to review this because we were very surprised. So, if you're looking for a budget ATX build, the DS900 or DS900 Air is a very good foundation. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Visit our store dito sa Chino Roses for all your computer needs or visit our website at hwsugar.ph and also and also join our Discord. Thank you and see you sa next na video.